All right, Secretary of State John Kerry just signed the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty. Great. It, if you don't know about it, is designed to regulate the international weapons trade, but some are worried it could actually take away some of our Second Amendment rights right here in the U.S. of A. That's right. So joining us now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Napolitano. Good morning, guys. So morning. is this even possible? I mean, the president can't ratify this, right? Doesn't no. he need The fact that John Senate. Kerry signed the treaty is just symbolic. The fact that President Obama may soon sign the treaty is just symbolic. The treaty would have no effect in the United States unless and until it's ratified by two-thirds of the United States Senate, a, a, a near political impossibility. Right. Correct. Right. So what would the treaty do? The treaty might affect the ability of importers in the United States to import from other countries certain amounts of ammunition and weapons, but the treaty could not affect could not affect your right to keep and bear arms in this country because that is guaranteed in the Second Amendment and a treaty cannot trump an express guarantee in the Constitution. Until we get that world government, government but, well, we're you, but you know something, Brian? The people that are behind this treaty want that world yeah. government and in their minds this is a step toward it. You mean controlling ammo, controlling the amount that's available, eventually controlling the market? Eventually controlling all of us. Sure. Yes. A yes, world that, government. That's the value set of John Kerry, Barack Obama, and their allies in Europe who, who pushed this treaty. Well, where has the worry come that, it, you know, if this goes through, and John Kerry signed it uh, the, yesterday, I'll tell you, that, that the, our Second Amendment rights could be infringed? The, the worry has come from language in the Constitution, which says that a treaty supersedes federal law does supersede federal law, but it does not supersede the Constitution itself. Right. So really looking at this stuff very precisely under the language, because the Second Amendment specifically guarantees the right to keep and bear arms, because the Supreme Court in a case called Heller versus the District of Columbia said this specifically applies to individuals, mm -hmm. the treaty cannot trump so that right. So if it were just an everyday law, like Obamacare, which is not an everyday law, but that would not, uh, when you put those kind of laws together, a, a law passed by Congress, whereas something in the Constitution, that's the, theoretically, that's the rub right there. Theoretically, Steve, the Constitution should trump anything that is right. inconsistent with it. We know that doesn't happen because of Obamacare. Right. Absolutely inconsistent with right. the Constitution, mm -hmm. and they found some crazy cockamamie never used before since nonsense about it's a tax, therefore it's lawful. <laughs> So if the government doesn't like pink dresses, it can tax them That's so that next. you can't uh -oh. wear them and can't... Well, you could always afford them no matter what the tax <laughs> is, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but this, uh, domestically, this has a bunch of people riled up. So what would be the next step then here? I mean, what, what, what do you the think? The president the would need to refer it to the Senate. And in, in my view, and the view of those of us who watch this stuff for a living, it will never even get out of a committee. So not only would the Senate not ratify it, then it won't even be a vote on this. Harry Reid, for all of his craziness on a lot of other issues, knows he'd lose right. his job if he allowed, because if he comes from a, a very pro-gun state, right. if he allowed this thing to and, be voted. And the big story that no one ever talks about is the reason why gun legislation doesn't get passed is not because of Republicans, because Republicans and Democrats don't want it, including Harry Reid. And because it's a, a natural guaranteed right that the sure. Congress can't interfere with. Josh. You've made that clear today? Yeah, all right, guys. thanks for always, doing Always a pleasure. It. Pink dress on. We'll all. see you soon. No taxes on my <laughs> pink dress. Judge looks so comfortable on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about